Hey folks, today we got a real treat for you. We're going to be heading down to the Miami International Boat Show 2018 and we are letting the cat out of the bag. The brand new Tideline 365 offshore boat. Incredible. Can't wait to check it out. But first, we got to get there. I need a car. I'm all registered, aren't I? Oh, that's awesome. So what'd y'all think? Thank you very much for the help. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, All right. So that was a good sea trial, huh? Yeah. What'd you got? You out in Biscayne Bay? Like I said, hmm? Went out in Biscayne Bay? Uh, you actually went out, I think, into the, in the, well, into the Atlantic yeah. for a little bit. So what'd you think about this ride? Three, 365, what'd you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This, yeah, I, I boat up in the Northern Gulf. This is what we need up there. This is what you need, yeah. yeah. Well, it's got the fuel capacity to... Sure. To get you to the rigs and, mm -hmm. and spend some time. What, a, what, what about the fishability? The room? It's got everything yeah, you right. need. Got everything you need. You, know, you put some tuna tubes. Got room for tuna tubes in there, which is what you got to have. Yep. How about storage? Do you get a chance oh, to look at all the storage? God. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, I mean, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's so much, especially. Wow. You know, I've got their 235, and uh, you know, I can put a lot of fish in there. And, oh yeah, 235. I don't, awesome I, can, I don't think I can fill this up. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> it's going to take some work for me to fill this up. Well, you going to order one? You know they got to build them. <laughs> I know. Well, actually, that's, uh, this is probably, that's what I'm looking at now because uh, yeah. these are the next ones I'm going to. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And, and let me ask you a question as a boater and a fisherman. You have a boat like this, 36.5. With this beam, this kind of power in a boat, would you ever need any other kind of offshore fishing machine? No. I mean, this is it. No, I mean... At this point, you put a couple, you can build some of the covers just you know, oh, sure. for Check your it overnight out. stuff, Absolutely. but yeah, this is it. You need to put a little Cobia tower up there, like if we were up put, on the bay. That's what I'd put, yeah, I'd put, a, put another tower there to do some stuff, but, you know, for visibility. Sure. But, yeah, this, you know, you got the riggers, you got the carbon fiber riggers yeah. now that go out there. Do you get a chance to sit on these uh, seats and the whole oh, seating yeah, environment? Nice. The console yeah. is really incredible. Yeah, we're, like we're blowing through some This was good, good stuff. The side pad. Right? And the side pad and everything. Yeah, it's good. Console. All right, so thank you, man. Good Appreciate it. Good to see y'all. Michael, give me a, a quick demonstration here on how these chairs work. That looks pretty simple. Yeah, so these right are LeBrock chairs that we have custom built for the boat. They're really comfortable. Uh, the nice thing about it, when you're in a seated position, you've got plenty of room. 
Uh, but if you want to stand, this will fold back and that supports your back and the armrests just fold up out of the way. Wow, that is that is fantastic. That's awesome. That's probably the most comfortable seat I've ever seen on a boat besides a beanbag chair. They're very nice. The LeBrock builds really good, uh, really good equipment. Now, since this boat is all custom, I guess as far as colors and that sort of thing, they can choose colors. Right, so they've got a whole color panel that's on their website and, and you know, if somebody wants help matching it to the color of the boat, we'll help. Or if somebody just wants to pick colors out of their own, either way is fine. Um, it's part of the early part of the build process because there's a pretty big lead time on them. Right. But we pick that out fairly early and then we make sure we're all set up for the boat. And these are, it's leather, isn't it? Uh, or I, is think that... so. I think it's some sort of marine vinyl. Marine vinyl. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what type of conditioner you would probably use to maintain that? I think that? any kind of vinyl, any kind of vinyl conditioner fine. Yeah, like Starbright or something like well, that. Well, I love the color scheme. It's fantastic. Yep. All right, Michael. Thanks for me, man. Good Thank show. you, Jim. Hey, we got something really exciting here. The owner of this brand new 365 Tideline. Brett, how's it going, Brett? It's going great. Hey, tell me, what, what'd you do here? I mean, you, did you first have the 235? Uh, uh, yeah, I had hole number one at the, the 235. Uh, probably at the somewhere around fall of 2015, uh, started talking with Michael and George about yeah. coming up with a bigger model, and uh, had some preliminary plans for about a 32. It grew to this. Wow! And uh, I think everybody's very excited to be totally here today. Totally excited, and they did a great job with it. It's phenomenal. What's your favorite couple of things about this boat? Totally awesome. As a fisherman, what what really stands out to you? Uh, uh, I think the size. Uh, you know, just to taste my first day seeing the boat. Uh, the, the fish ability, I mean, it's got fish boxes, storage, live well setups. You know, the options that uh, Michael and George can customize for you it's just uh, is a complete package for offshore. And beautiful lines. Beautiful lines. Well, we're very excited. Congratulations. You've got one of the best boats ever built and pre the premiere. Yeah. It's exciting. Congratulations, Brad. Now, have a, have a cold water. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate <laughs> it. Jimbo, you old dog, what are you doing down here? Time to go diving. I think Time so. to go to Key Largo. I think so. We've we've had a lot of good weather. Water show to, was great. Water ought to be clear. Absolutely. Water Cannot is wait. Warmer down in the Keys, down oh, in Key Largo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, that is a big. Watch out for that lizard. Oh, oh, oh no! Gosh, that was a big one. Man, they grow those lizards big down here, don't That's they? One of those. Iguana lizards. Iguanas from South America, yeah. Yeah, we don't have those where I, we have deer. deer. We have to, but these, they are, that's probably the ugliest deer I've ever seen. Think of these as deer with no antlers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they just jump right out in front of you like that one did. Time to go dive. Yep, let's go diving, Jim.